hello my lovely people you're welcome back once again to my youtube channel if you're seeing my beautiful face for the first time my name is tina isoar i'm a nigerian immigrant currently based in saskatoon saskatchewan canada since it is your first time please don't make it your last time we have fun here okay come again and again and again and again okay and turn on your notification bell that you have to subscribe so that you turn on the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and loved ones bring them on okay So today's content is about some benefits or lots of benefits. Of course, there are lots of benefits here in Canada that are accessible to residents in Canada. Loans, um, gifts, some, some of this money, I call them gift, free gifts that are accessible to Canadian citizens, uh, permanent residents. Sometimes you come in here, you don't know that you are actually entitled to this or what you need to do. So it's not, I'm not a financial analyst to explain how how it goes or the rules or the policies so you can read them up but i just want to highlight them but before we dive right into this video uh, i just want to let you know that this video is in partnership with lemonade finance this is an app that enables i and my friends and families here in canada to send money back home as many of you may know lemonade finance is an app that allows africans in the uk canada and us to send money back home to 10 african countries namely ghana kenya nigeria senegal ivory coast cameroon benin tanzania uganda and rwanda and you're sending this money at no cost okay i have actually been using this app for a couple of months now i am my friends of course and it's quite easy fast and completely free you are not paying any commission rather you know what hmm, you are getting back so all you need to do is to download the app through my referral link on the description box of this video okay and you're going to get a ten dollar cash back on your first transaction that is from hundred dollars and above like i'm sending hundred dollars and i'm getting ten dollars back that's like you are actually sending the equivalent of what you're supposed to send and at the same time getting something back isn't that amazing okay i know that some of you may already have the app installed on your phone or i wouldn't say you should only start to install it okay it doesn't make sense so all you need to do is to use my referral code tina 15 that's tina 15 i'm going to put it on the description and you're going to make your free seamless stressless transaction and they are going to get the money in a couple of minutes okay thank you so much so let's dive right into it like you know one thing they said in canada or not in, just in canada is information is key one thing they always say is that information is key if you don't know hmm, you will be in the river baiting and soap will be entering your eyes <laughs> <laughs> so i just want to share some of the benefit things that uh, we have been able to assess since coming to canada and <laughs> life has been easy okay so you can check equally if you are eligible to get them or ineligible to not to assess them okay the first thing i will say is the one i'm expecting in a couple of days <laughs> like seriously and it's called gst goods and services tax benefit okay and what simply i understood from there is that because i started assessing it last year i had to make call i called and called and called cra i said the first time they said i am i am not eligible to get it i was like i, I came here with a couple of friends who are assessing it why am i not eligible yeah and they later found out that it was done in error that is it was done in error and they started paying me the money and i'm expecting another one is gst so what that ha happens is see hey guys i am not a financial analyst i am not in the position to explain who gets this or who should not so all you need to do is to assess your eligibility please this is a disclaimer okay so assess your eligibility towards assessing this money so this is gst like i said goods and services um tax benefit okay when you are buying things depending on provinces they are dependent on provinces when you're making purchases like you go to the grocery store 
you buy an item or goods or whatsoever you're buying there is a gst tax you're paying so so the government of canada decided that ah this tax maybe you're buying an item of ten dollars you're being charged one dollar not every family can afford that one dollar that they are being charged extra so they were like if your income is less than a certain amount then you are going to get a gst back that's a tax credit back to you and this is not a small money at least it's, it's a good amount of money and you get that twice a year it's supposed to be either paid once or twice but last year we got it twice so this year hopefully we're going to get it twice as well you know that's the first benefit the second one that i assessed last month was dental benefits okay um i i just when since i came to canada i realized that they have lots of emphasis they have much need on dental care unlike where i'm coming from it wasn't more like even as much as i had insurance back home i was assessing it but the way is like a norm here you know i hope you understand what i mean so last month uh, we were paid 650 dollars per child that means as i have three kids i, I was able to assess 650 dollars multiplied by three and you can only assess this if your income is less than i think ninety thousand dollars as well that's family income and that if you're working you do not have a private insurance because when i called to register i was asked do you have a private in dental insurance for the kids where i'm working and it was among the things i didn't select so i didn't have it and as out of that time because my husband's job was still under probation he didn't have it so we were able to assess that dental fee of $650 per child and you are expected to actually book an appointment what I did I booked uh, okay the procedure was that you need to book an appointment then call them they process it pay the money prior to your appointment or even if you had gone for your appointment they will not process it and that was actually what we did I'm going to insert some pictures of my children I took them for dental care meanwhile prior to that this assessing this fund last year I took them for dental okay and they were able to assess that so that's one of the benefits that you have to assess here in Canada in case if you don't know call them and see if you're eligible and get the money hmm. information is key oh. the next one that i got uh, last week was the housing benefit it's on the news but sometimes we don't get to search the news who is going to internet to search for news no so uh this one is the housing benefit so they called it housing benefit top up more or like when i called CRA to apply for it. I was questions I, I was asked was that have you filed your tax? I say yes. I filed my tax and I think they were able to see that I had actually filed my tax and um, they now asked uh, how much was I paying? Can I provide my the address of where I lived, which I pro provided it? How much was I paying for a month? How long did I stay there? So I gave them all the information they requested, and I was told that uh, they are going to process it if I'm eligible. I provided with my landlord um phone number website uh, or the name and every information in case they want to verify, and they said they are going to process it if i'm eligible that they are going to give send the money to me on a certain date and it's 500 is on the news and i was on that faithful date i got 500 dollars into my accounts meaning that i am eligible to get it okay so another benefit that like i mentioned in one of the videos i made earlier today i mentioned that when i came into the country i was told that hey you're eligible to get a loan to study loan and grant so how that works in case if you are coming into canada or you're already in canada of course i know that a lot of us are here if you're already in canada you want to study a course in a college you don't have the money because going to college like diploma we have back home in nigeria is not one naira here so if you want to go to a college to study any course and you're a permanent resident or a canadian citizen you can actually call in the school the financial department will equally assist in my own case they did assist but at a point because i backed out from that course i wasn't able to assess that phone so you will equally apply for the student loan and grants so most times it could be like 
depending on your family size your family income whether your spouse is working and several other factors so you just have to check your eligibility so they will take it they will give you loan maybe depending on the cost the duration of the course and several other factors i'm just speaking because i have passed through these routes okay i've gone through the journey and even though it didn't end the way uh, of cashing out money which i have no regret about so you have to check all these things they may either give you loan if the school school fees is let's say ten thousand dollars you may either be getting depending on your family size you may even be getting twelve thousand or more or less as grant and grant is not payable it's not refundable you are not expected to refund it's like okay since you're not going to be working you're going to be schooling use this money to pay some bills either purchase pay rent or something like that that's the purpose of that money so you need to check whether it is something or a route you need to go through because you want to study a course you get that grant people get that grant even use it to manage themselves and start business and the likes of it okay and yes one of the things i have to highlight about this i think i said it in that video my concern was where i'm coming from we're not used to borrow loan anything loan me i used to run away from it so hearing that loan i wasn't that, that comfortable but and another thing i had is that when you finish schooling you'll be given six months grace you're expected to like use six months to start work get a job start working and hopefully pay some bills before you start paying government back is a certain fee you can even take 10 20 years to pay back the money but i was told earlier on that it was taxable that means you, you are paying those loan rather not taxable you pay with interest and i was like anything loan plus interest i don't want that hell no nobody should get me involved but currently as i speak to you now which is subject to verification i read on the internet that uh, the interest part has been taken off or is in the process of being taken off for students to be paying interest rather if you get the money and when you finish schooling after the six months grace you are paying the actual capital you got you it took as loan you're not paying any interest on it isn't that amazing so should i now talk about the ccb child care benefits okay okay but before i mention that this is more like it's everywhere it's dependent on your income your family income i know families who do not get child benefits because uh, even though they have children less than 18 years old probably because of their income if you're earning let's say 250,000 or 300,000 500,000 or i don't know the benchmark anyway why should government be giving you 500 why should government be giving you 600 dollars okay they now say leave those money for a certain group of people or class of people low income earners who are not uh, able to cost of living is hard on them as well so those money will be paid to low income people so if you are any high don't expect ccb <laughs> so which would you prefer to end low and expect ccb or end high and leave ccb let me end high and leave ccb as they go <laughs> so that's one of the benefits here another benefit uh, that i will mention is SARS subsidy as in daycare subsidy oh my god this happened last month so this last month and this month i was so happy hey come on i made a short clip video here dancing and jumping up expressing my happiness when i had the news that from I think was it in March? Yes, that from March of 2023, that the daycare fee will be $217. Prior to that time, I was paying, um, was it almost $500 per child? So I was paying close to $1,000 for my two girls for daycare every month. Okay, but now the government have subsidized it all over Canada. It's not 200. Okay, I don't know if it's all over Canada, but in my province currently it has been adopted. We are paying only $217 per child. So you need to know this and it has to be in a registered daycare place. So if you're going to a private daycare, so weigh your options. Do you want the private and pay high or you want a registered there is nothing like substandard here. They registered licensed daycare and paid two seventeen dollars. So that's another benefit that we've been getting of recent that I have been like, eh, 
a tete so one other benefit that i will mention on this video that i actually didn't know much about it but coming here and having to meet with a couple of people was aro aro sp registered retirement savings plan okay so and you can do it for a child you can do it for, even as an adult when i started work i saw that aro aro sp plan insurance plan i was like hey i beg you push leave me but when i started doing the program i am currently doing i understood the benefit this is more like a benefit or it's a benefit whereby you are saving let's say you are saving two dollars every month and government decided okay since you're saving two dollars every month for your retirement we will be adding ten dollar um, we'll be adding one dollar to it and makes life <laughs> good okay even for aru esp for children there is one they call registered education savings plan where you save for the future of your children you save for their college yes here you school from uh, kindergarten to high school free then after high school you go and pay for college or university and that's money they are not one naira. so paying it then will be more like a huge sum of money to pay at once but if you start saving now when they are kids if you're paying 200 uh, let's say 200 dollars government will give you 100 or 47 or depending on the rate dollars is something that for me i see it that a win-win for both people and it's for more of a win for me as the mother of the child rather than the government because whether the government provides it or not i am supposed to save for my kids okay this is one of the benefits and if you need more information on all this you can equally chat me up okay okay i before this will be the last one probably that i'll mention you know coming into canada sometimes um I've gotten some questions. They said, actually, that proof of fund, would it actually be enough for a family of five to come into Canada? At least if you don't get job in the next six months, would it be enough for you to survive? And I always tell the people that, no, carry whatever you can carry and come here. Because uh, I think the last time I checked, the family of five in a proof of fund is about $28,000 plus my dear there are twenty eight thousand dollars before you pay rent buy television pay subscription buy this buy that subscription subscription the money is gone in less than three months four months that money is gone and if you are unfortunate you haven't gotten a job it's going to hit hard but the good part of this is that there is an income support more like i don't know what's the right word but all I heard is, is it called income support, whereby you write to the province that this is my family situation now. Of course, they are going to request that you send in your account, bank account details, so that they actually see that you don't have um, that money in your account and you're requesting for it. So if you send in, they are going to ver verify and be paying you a certain amount, I think up to 1,005 or 2,000, I don't know, I'm not too certain about, but they will pay you at least money that will be able to assist with paying your rent and do small grocery. Meanwhile, they expect that before you can assess that money to pay for rent, government is paying ccb so they are not paying you anything for the children rather they are paying you income support as an adult and probably to pay some groceries okay so with your child benefits and your even though you're not supposed to eat the child benefit the income support is supposed to like carry you along every month and not just that aside giving you that income support which the province will provide to you so not that they will give you money and feel that they have done all they needed to do you know because you don't have a job that's why you are assessing this income support so they will send your details to the employment services then the employment services will check out why are you not getting job is there any challenge is it that you need s someone to assist you with uh, maybe updating your resume or do you need to go to school like i know a couple of people that they have actually sent to school and sponsored those people's course just to get them a job just to get going and at the same time they will equally send your resume to uh, employment uh, agencies and 
uh, companies that are recruiting they will send you a link to uh, more like search for this job this job they are recruiting people in your uh, area of study or your skill and more like to get your job and I think this is one of the best things that I know that Canada does to encourage people that yes we know you are not working now but we can get there just by doing all this isn't that amazing mm -hmm. So like I said earlier, this video is in partnership with Lemonade Finance. Okay, this has, this is an app I've been using for months now to send money back home. And please, if you want to send money back home, it's free, it's easy, it's fast. Like in a couple of minutes, they will receive a lot. So go ahead and use my referral link to download the app and set it up just go through the verification process and when you're transferring money or sending money back home use my referral code tina15 tina15 and you will be getting a ten dollar cash back on a, on your first transaction above hundred dollars isn't that amazing mm? and I will thank you and you will thank me too. <laughs> it's a win-win, okay? So another one good favor is share this video with your friends and loved ones. Share it with everybody. You never can tell who may not have this information. Information is key. Who may not have this information and here they are making life very easy and doing it in the legitimate, legit way, okay? <laughs> so thank you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider clicking on the red subscribe button and join this amazing family. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload any video, you get notified and smash the like button for me, okay? Thank you. See you much later.